So you probably noticed by now that Uber just launched a brand new driver app. And a couple weeks ago, I had the chance to meet with an Uber product manager to talk about the app. So keep an eye out for that. But today, I wanna to talk with someone else who made this new app happen and see what they think. And he's actually a driver here in LA whose feedback and experience helped make this new app a reality. Also, thanks to Uber for sponsoring this video. My hope is that with a video like this, we can open up the dialogue between Uber and its driver partners. The new driver app is the first of many improvements that Uber plans to make. And I think the more they involve drivers in the process, the better results we'll see. All right, so we're waiting for Johnny in a gray Prius, a very classic Uber driver car. Johnny, hey. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Good, how are you? Harry. All right. Very nice, nice to meet you. Man. Awesome. You ready to go? Yeah. So Johnny, how'd you uh, how'd you get started with Uber? Yeah, so I, I used to have the the Monday through Friday nine to five sit mm -hmm. in a cubicle job, and I was looking to gain better control of my time. Yeah, yeah. When I first got started, I tested it part time, and the fact that you could sign on, sign off whenever you like. So I decided to leave my full time job and run with this full 100 miles per hour. <laughs> wow. Well, hopefully not with passengers. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Monday through Thursday type of dude. Mm -hmm. um, Fridays, I usually work a little bit and I like to take the weekends off. Gotcha. I know the weekends is usually when the big money's made, mm -hmm. but I like the fact that I keep control of my time yeah. and the weekends is for family. So you're also a beta tester for this new driver app, which I think is pretty cool. How'd you get involved in that? It was a team of about 10 of us. Okay. So we would just get together and then we'll share our insight of you know how we think the app could improve yeah and what we liked about it and what we didn't like about it what's the best change you've noticed in the new driver app are the earnings earnings uh, yeah i enjoy the how easy they make it for you to view your earnings so mm -hmm. i don't have to like start clicking while i'm you know yeah while i'm out on the road i could either set up the application to view my earnings daily or view my earnings weekly you know whether as a driver sometimes i have a daily go sometimes yeah. i'm trying to you know when it's getting close to ending the week i want to make sure that i end my weekly go so now when you open the app it's right there front and center but i also like that there's a little bit of flexibility right because just like you said i mean there might be drivers who prefer looking at their daily goals there may be drivers who prefer looking at their weekly goals and there may even be drivers that want to do daily sometimes and weekly and <laughs> at can, the end of the week yeah, right and the quest you know getting yeah. certain rights to complete certain quests. The quest bonus is actually something that not every driver has access to, but it sounds like, you know, even <clears throat> for the drivers that do have Uber Quest, that's an option too. So you can see daily, weekly, or even your progress towards your Uber Quest. The only thing that maybe they could work on is once, sometimes once we complete that quest, the quest just goes away. Hmm. And I feel like that's a great example where Uber can learn a lot from the drivers. Because I mean, if you've ever been out there, you know, at the end of a quest bonus on a Thursday or Saturday night or whatever it might be, and when you hit that 20 or that 60th ride or whatever you need to get that quest bonus like it's a pretty good feeling right you're like Oof, all right i'm done i can go home right and it's not something that should just disappear you know one of the things that i've liked about the new app uh, is the notifications feature because i know in the past right the cards would always pop onto the screen and off the screen and you didn't always necessarily you know see the information you wanted so it's a lot cleaner than mm -hmm. the previous app right. on the previous app it kind of covered on your home screen yeah you scrolled up and then you get like 30 different notifications yeah. you know update your insurance right. you know i have noticed that some things are a little different from the old driver app to the new driver app have you noticed any big differences i mean you got that shield there you know, you I know what the shield means? So I do, and uh, fortunately, I haven't had to use it. Okay. <laughs> I can either share a trip with, yeah. you know, with someone that I need, or I could call the 911 assistance. Yeah, and I think actually the share trip feature is one that I think is pretty cool, because I've talked to a lot of drivers who, you know, they might have someone else, their spouse, or their boyfriend, or girlfriend, or husband, or wife, or someone in their family. You know, if you're driving out late at night, they sort of want to just know that you're okay, know that you're doing trips, or even just know where you are. Yeah. So I think this is actually a cool feature and that not a lot of drivers know about. What's your favorite place to drive in LA? You know, when you're driving down, um, 
on the 10 mm -hmm. and you're about to go into PCH yeah. and you go through that bridge and then you come out of the bridge and bam you see Malibu you see the ocean opportunities is the feature that um, you know for if you're driving for example and it tells you there's a busy area nearby drive towards this area it's basically the goal of this feature is to try and give drivers more information about what's going on so I'm sure you've probably noticed maybe you've noticed something like this in the new driver app yeah so like if you're driving at a certain area it tells mm -hmm. you that you're busy yeah you know that you're in a busy area i, I think maybe uber can improve on that yeah. because many times you know yesterday i was in a busy area yeah. but uber calls busy and for 30 minutes i was reading my book i think the biggest thing with this opportunities feature is you know i would like to see uber put its money where its mouth is and you know really guarantee <laughs> you know really guarantee for example that hey this information that we're giving you as a driver is correct it's valuable information we're so confident that if you drive to this area and you don't get a ride within five minutes you were gonna pay you five dollars. You know, certain areas at certain times, I don't wanna drive anymore yeah. Uber X, but I don't mind driving Uber Eats. Gotcha. So if I get a request that I'm dropping someone off at a certain area mm -hmm. and you know, I, I wanna sign on to Uber Eats, I could yeah. I could switch it while I'm on the drive yeah. there. The trip planner allows you to kind of set those options with Uber X and Uber Eats and you know if you were Uber Select for example. So it sounds like you're actually really doing a good job taking advantage of the flexibility. You know, it might be the one time of the day where you don't want a long yeah, ride. <laughs> you get way um, you know and switching over to uber eats is a great way to stay local and it sounds like you can do that with the trip planner yeah well, big thanks to johnny for the ride and i think that ride definitely deserves four stars uh, five stars just kidding um and you know it was great to meet with johnny today learn a little bit more about him and also how he's using the new driver app features to make his life a little easier i think features like notifications and trip planner are great additions but we all know that earnings matter most so the earnings tracker keeps you up to date on how much you're making and i'm excited to see what happens with the opportunities feature too because i think there's real potential to improve a driver's bottom line there by giving them more information and hopefully it's clear that uber put a lot of work into this new driver app and incorporated great feedback from partners like johnny you know, I think it's definitely something that we want to see more of in the future since nobody knows this business better than you. So let me know what you think of the new driver app and leave a comment below. What's one feature you'd like to see Uber add next? Because you know what? They will be listening. All right, drive safe, everyone.